What's up guys, my name is Ian. Good morning, it is currently around like 4.53 in the morning. I can see that, but I am going to Nashville today. I actually have a couple meetings that I have to go to and it'll also be really nice to be able to hang out with my brother again like I got to in my last one. Um, I'm really excited to really go and I don't know, I'm just really excited to go home. I really love being able to see my family. My parents are out of town. They flew to Washington to see my sister. But I am really excited that I'm able to get the chance to go see my family and everything. So what I'm going to do is actually pack. I have to pick up the rental car at around eight. And then I gotta drive um, to Nashville. It's about five o'clock and I haven't packed yet, so, but I also haven't cleaned either, so I'm glad that I'm up so I can do that. I hate leaving the house. Does anybody else hate leaving the house when it's dirty? As you can see, I've got my do-rag on. i got my hair braided. I was filming all night. I haven't started editing that video. I've started editing it, but I haven't really done much. Um, I have to go back through. I'm going to bring my laptop with me, and I'm going to edit when I have some free time. I also have to bring my jump ropes with me so that I can work out and film week five's workout. We got a couple of weeks left, so I don't have many. You should see my filming setup right now, it's kind of crazy, but I am about to clean up this room. I have all my outfits from Puerto Rico. I don't have them all, but I have a bunch of outfits from Puerto Rico laying everywhere because I was trying them on. I kind of started putting some stuff around, but I've really got to clean up so that I can just, I don't know get it done, basically. So I just filmed myself cleaning up most of this like back side of the room. And I didn't realize that the camera wasn't recording because there's no more space on the memory card, so it didn't really record much of anything. So, I'm halfway done. Uh, I've been making some progress here. Uh, that's a pile of trash, that's my work ID. That's my Louis backpack, I need to get that for the trip. And these are all my, these are a bunch of, I guess these are like half of my outfits for our trip. Um, I need to make sure I put some of these somewhere so that I can, like go shopping and get some more clothes. I still have this entire section to clean up. Like these are my jump rope boxes. I've got my headphones. I've got a whole bunch of stuff on this desk that just gets thrown up here. I've got to find my resume. I just found the memory card. The uh, girlfriend bought me this. I haven't got to use it yet because I haven't filled up the other one until now, but thanks babe. Thank you for always being my biggest supporter and always helping me out with everything. So, good looking out. She actually got me a lot of stuff. She got me like a whole set of lights, filming equipment, it's a new mic for my um, camera and everything. So, yeah, hoping I get to use those really soon so I can make some really nice material. But, back to this video. So when I go on trips, I don't like having to pack a lot of things. I'll actually, like if I could be a minimalist, I definitely would, but I don't think I'd survive, honestly. So my goal is to get more like that in the future, but that is definitely not where I'm at the moment. I honestly think I can fit everything that I need inside this really small one. I have a medium sized one and a, bit, and a, a large one.
Alright, so this is pretty much everything I need in terms of clothes and like film equipment. Obviously, I'm bringing the camera that I'm using to film to film my last day of jump rope. So I've also got to bring my jump ropes, which are right here. I'm just going to roll these up. That's pretty much it in terms of packing. It's about, okay, it only took me about 45 minutes, so uh, I'm pretty much done. Alright, so I know I kind of got like a pinhead going, I apologize for that, but I'm finished. Uh, I've pretty much got everything taken care of. I have some laundry, but I'll just do that when I get back, because I don't feel like doing that right now. But um, I have all my stuff done. I have to still have to pack up the camera, which I'm about to do. And then I'm going to take a shower and change to what I'm going to wear to travel and all that stuff today. But other than that, I think I'm good. So I just got the rental car and I'm finally, I'm heading out. I'm on my way to Nashville and given, I'm sorry for driving and recording, but I won't, this is the last time I will be doing that. But just know that, you know, praying for a safe trip and everything, hoping everything with my meetings go well. So, you know, wish me luck. What's up guys, so I'm on my way back from the Y, me and my best friend, we worked out together, we, I haven't been able to do that in like three years at this point, and dude's gotten huge, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get on that page soon, but I didn't record anything because I didn't have my phone at the time because it was on 1% when I finally got to Nashville, so it's been charging, hopefully it'll last the rest of the day, it usually does, but it'll be alright, I am on my way to pick up my little sister, we're gonna go meet up with my older brother, we're gonna get some food, it's Sunday, we gotta eat together as a family, so we gotta do something together, um, I'm gonna change, and I'm gonna shower real quick and change and everything so that I can quickly go see my family, so. You already know how it go, put that pepper in the water cup. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I ain't never been here before, but I'm about to fuck this food up. Yeah, I'm telling you. Like, I got a chicken quesadilla and a chicken taco with some beans. Hold on, I'm sorry. You want me to start three? Yeah, we don't have to. We got to go pop out of there. I'm so excited. I finally got out of bed and I'm just sort of thinking like this meeting I have to go to like and to what I'm meeting and I think afterwards it's basically a job interview. But at this I'm not gonna lie, I'm low-key terrified just because I don't I'm really not good with stuff like this like i'm not good with job interviews i'm not good like i feel like i'm a very qualified person but i don't feel like i'm i don't know i just don't i'm not good at these types of things and i think that um my ability to do well in school and like excel academically kind of held me back from that because socially i'm not the best socially i'm not really all that good with talking to a lot of people like if you ask my girlfriend all the time, she I don't talk to people ever. Like I don't know, I feel weirded out when people come up and talk to me sometimes. So I don't know, I really just am really nervous about an interview just because like, I mean, like if it was a science-based interview, so we were talking about, you know, chemistry or biology, something like that. 
I feel like I would do really well just because like, you know, I have been studying it and stuff like that. And I've been confident in it. Like I'm really like for just any school topic. Like I'm really good with school stuff. And I think it's funny picking back when I first started, when I first met my girlfriend, I was always really nervous to talk to her. So like I said, I'm bad at social stuff. I would just talk about school with her. I was like, hey, I was trying to get her to like me. All I would do is be like, so, so how's school? You know, what class do you have next? What, uh, you know, what is that class about? Do you like it? What's your favorite thing about class? What's up? It's like, and finally, she, one day she was just like, Ian, I, I didn't know that you actually liked me. All we ever talked about was school. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping, hoping they ask me stuff about school. I can definitely, you know, help kids with school stuff, definitely. But I want to be able to help in other ways that I know that I can. It's just that I'm not as confident in those. But it's gonna be all good, so. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna sit and relax and try to just kind of calm down because I'm not gonna like it very anxious about stuff like this and I get, I don't know, and it makes me kind of like freak out. I don't, I don't really like these types of things. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm just gonna try to sit and relax, maybe watch some YouTube videos. So, I don't know, like I watch YouTube videos and study how to try to make mine better. So hopefully I can. I don't know, just improve my video. That's all I really want to do. I want to like, I love editing and making videos and creating stuff. So I'm really trying to get better at this. Okay, y'all, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm sitting outside where I need to go, and it's in like five minutes, but I'm just really, what's it called, like nervous. Cause I'm really not good at this type of stuff. I obviously can't go in there and film, but I'm going to let you all know how it goes, I guess, but I'll just pray for me, I guess, cause this is not it. Like, I don't like feeling like this. I don't feel, I feel like I'm gonna fail at this, and I don't really like that feeling, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm back from all the interviewing and a lot of stuff, and I feel like it went really well. I'm really excited about the way it went. I think that, um, I don't know, I think that I had a really good time there. I had a really positive experience with everything. Uh, keep my fingers crossed. Hopefully I get here back from them soon. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm back. I'm, I'm gonna meet up with some people and make two hours. That gives me enough time to try to edit something. I'm trying to get this video started editing and get the video for tomorrow prepared so that I don't have to worry about trying to get everything uploaded like last time, the last time it took forever. So I'm going to see if I can get that done as soon as possible. <laughs> What's up guys so uh it's the morning that i need i'm heading back to memphis i'm pretty excited because next week at the end of next week we're you know we're flying out to puerto rico but that's going to be pretty much the end of this vlog i don't know i think i'll i don't know i guess i'll document my trip on my way home i think if i do anything else today i'll probably might go eat breakfast with my little sister before i head out and yesterday you know i went to lunch and got like it's just like this gourmet grilled cheese place you know i went and got lunch with my friend his girlfriend's in porter it was cool and everything like that but at the ending let me know if this is like messed up if i if a person i don't know how to do it so basically this guy i'm, I'm i've made a video about how i'm tall and all that stuff if i were to talk to people the way a lot of people talk to me about being tall i feel like it would be considered harassment like or if it was about any other characteristics so like if i was talking about like i don't understand why people are allowed to comment on how tall i am all the time and literally not leave me the hell alone about it and like talk and talk and talk and talk and talk going on and on about it making jokes making you know what I'm really making me feel uncomfortable a lot of times and just i really like his girlfriend recorded some of it i really hope that she recorded it sometimes it makes me cry too it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna say I did that with the joke <laughs> anyway but yeah uh so like do you, do you like music and stuff or like what is it 
I feel like you're so tall. Like, it's crazy. Like, I feel like I'm quite good at times. <laughs> <laughs> Played basketball. Do you still? I graduated from college. I was just about to play. What did you play? Like, did you play like on the college team? That's like yeah. a big deal, right? Thanks, man. <laughs> I just played basketball. What did you play for? I went to Rose Memphis. Oh, man. It's like your friends like a basketball player. <laughs> you know, he was like, you know, he was making jokes about like, me being in the jungle, he was like, what type of car do I drive? How do I fit in any type of car? How the hell did I get so big? How am I, you know, even possible? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I were to ask these questions about a fat person, they would be offended. Or someone's like, so why is it okay for somebody to continue to always do stuff like that to me? Literally every single day about being taught. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand why that's not as rude. Or not considered rude. Like, that's some rude ass shit. Like, I, in a moment, I was about to cuss his ass out. But like, if I can be honest with you, like I was trying not to become off as that angry person in front of uh, his girlfriend, because you know I haven't really, I've, I've met her before, but I've never, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But like, it's just, it's just interesting to me to be like that. That's that's socially okay for him to like. He kept like he literally came from behind the register like three times to stand next to me just to be like, hey y'all, look how tall he got. He makes me feel so much like I don't know. I leave a comment and explain to me please why that apparently is okay because to me it makes it i don't know like if you do it to me in public i'm like i don't know i'm getting to the point where i'm going to i'm going to cuss you out like i'm i'm, I'm not I'm, i don't know the day before i left to come here like this guy was like man you can't use normal anything normal cars normal doorways normal bathrooms normal anything and i'm just like right now i'm in a fucking ford fusion like i fit in this car perfectly i have leg room everything and the, uh, the guy was like i bet you have to drive an suv and i showed him that i'm driving this car and he was like oh i bet you the seat's all the way back and there's no leg room like it's actually not the case it's actually hella leg room back there for a person to sit behind me and like i don't i just don't get it to me why shit like that's okay but you all let me know how you would feel if somebody was to take a physical characteristic about you, whatever, whatever it may be, because people do it about me for being skinny too. Um, let me know what you would think, because to me, I think it's ridiculous and I think it's rude as fuck, honestly, because if I were to do that to somebody else, they would be offended. And like, I think from now on, my response to somebody who's tall, like a woman goes, I'll never forget, this woman was being so rude to me. And she was like, oh my God, you're almost, and then she goes, you are almost as tall as that doorway. And it was a real, like a double door, like a French doorway. And I was like, you are, and you're just as wide. Like, cause to me, it's the same thing. You're talking about how tall I am. I'm talking about how big you are, or how small you are, or anything like that. Like to me, I feel like if you're going to act like that about me, I'm going to do the exact same thing to you. And I'm not, and if you know me in real life, I like, you do not want me to start this game with me. But let me know what y'all think, please. Cause that would really help me out. So guys, I am finally back in Memphis. I'm back home. I just got back maybe not too long ago, like 20 minutes. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you like this video or enjoyed this vlog, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to, you know, it won't hurt anybody. Definitely won't. Uh, if you just subscribe, you know, you're probably coming back and watching my videos anyway. So you might as well just subscribe and so you'll get the notification next Tuesday when I upload. So definitely give this video a thumbs up, a comment. Let me know your thoughts on that piece that I gave. Lastly, come, come back, you know, I upload every Tuesday, don't, don't even, like, it's not even like a problem at this point, so, um, so let me know what you think, uh, and lastly, if you want to, uh, all my social media is linked down below, so if you ever want to keep up with me in my daily life, just let me know what you think, and all my stuff is at Ian Harrison, the O is a zero in Harrison, so, uh, Thank you so much again. I appreciate every last one of you who watched my videos. It's been, like, in a serious note, thank you. Like, I really do appreciate it. And, like, thank you so much. Like, all the people who subscribed to me, all 212 of you, thank you so much um, uh, for believing in me and supporting me this much so far. Uh, um, but, yeah, thank you again so much. I can't say that enough. But uh, I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>